afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome back to Smack Reviews. My name is Justin, and I appreciate you being here. Today, we've got another review. I'm excited about this one. I'm actually hopeful that this could enhance some of the video stuff that I do. Like I mentioned, if you watched the last video, you saw that I'm a musician. I frequently am posting some stuff online, both on my personal Instagram for music, um, as well as on my coffee truck with my wife. I really appreciate you guys making it to this video. Today, we are reviewing this little gadget right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's probably backwards, but this is the LED photography light from Amazon. And I will link this in my description below. Remember, it helps me out a ton if you guys use my link. So basically, let's go over a few things here. The model is the XK70D. Color temp is at 5600, as well as a 10% to 100% dimmer, which is pretty good for an LED, uh, especially a 5600. I don't have a ton of experience with LEDs. Um, I am a bit of a car guy, so when it comes to my lumens, fairly familiar, but 5600 is, is pretty decent. That's gonna make it pretty bright. This will be really good, again, for the bloggers, for the vloggers, for the folks who are musicians doing some videos, or you just wanna take some good room lighting. You're just a photographer that wants to have a little handy light with you. So anyway, let's crack into it. Your lumen is a thousand, so it's gonna be really, uh, really white. 10 watt, 5,000 hour life, also does USB 5 volt, which is really awesome. Two amp, 70 LED bulbs. So this thing is gonna be bright. <laughs> I'm uh, pretty excited. All right, cool. Nice little packaging too. I'm actually uh, pretty impressed. So this is, uh, this is pretty nice. I got this in a few days ago, so I'm excited. Let's jump in. All right, I hope everybody had an amazing weekend. I'm actually just getting over being sick here, so apologies if I sound a little nasally, but uh, feeling much better today. So let's check this out. All right, so this took about, I don't know, I'd say maybe two days, not even a day to get in. I think it was relatively priced. I'll put the price right up here. Um, and then also, seems like it's pretty decent quality, so I'm excited about it. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. Also, feel free to leave me some comments. Let me know how I'm doing. If you guys want to see more of something, if you want to see less of something, please let me know. But we can get cracking into it and I'll make some improvements. All right, cool. So this is done. All right. First thing that I really like about the packaging or lack thereof is that it actually is pretty easy to figure out what the heck you're working with here. So in the first little box, I don't know if you saw me open that, we've got our tripod. Quality's okay, quality's all right. Um, I'm pretty sure this was 30 bucks, but again, I'll put the price up here. Um, it's actually not bad. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, it's not amazing, but it's not terrible. I mean, like your, your feet here are plastic, uh, the braces to your feet. Obviously this is all metal here. Um, this is also metal and there's also, it's two way adjustable. So I don't know if you guys can see that here, but there's two different adjustments for height. So you've got this guy, which is nice. And then you've also got this second one here. And I, if you're not careful, uh, oh wow, they don't hit. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's actually a gap there. It's kind of nice. That's one of the most frustrating things for me when I, when I would ever do any camera work with tripods. But yeah, it's got two way adjustable, which is nice. The only thing you'll have to watch out for is you'll see this, this guy here on the uh, second adjustment. That's, this can actually hit that, which is a little annoying. So if you twist it, it'll get stuck. I don't know if you guys can see that there, but it gets stuck. That's why you just gotta kinda keep it aligned right up in there. Anyway, cool. All right, well, that's that piece. Don't need this. Um, this right here, I'd give a six and a half out of 10 for quality. Pretty good. All right, second. Wait a minute. This is cool. I didn't know it came with two. That's awesome. Okay, well, hey, I'm pumped about that. I don't need to review this because you've already seen the quality on the first one. Let's go ahead and just open it up. I mean, for 30 bucks again, don't quote me, price. This is pretty good, I'm excited. Um, all right, opening up the first LED box here. Some other goodies in there, I'm not sure what it is. Oh, there's other filters. That's really cool. Guys, I'm pumped. I'm pumped, this is amazing. So you can see the other filters. There's purple, yellow, dude, this is awesome, man. This is yellow, there's clear, um, and then some like 
salmon-y color. But I think all the colors are actually in the instruction booklet here, which will tell you about it that it comes with. But yeah, wow, this is really cool. I'm excited about this. Um, this is going to be awesome moving forward. So maybe you'll see some better lighting in my videos moving forward. And apologies about the angle. Let me know if you don't like it or if you do like it on this one. I think that uh, I'm trying something new, so we'll see. Awesome. Okay, great. As it pertains to plug-in, I am going to utilize a iPhone block, if that's what you call it, to power it on, and we'll check it out. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. All right, so I got my iPhone block or iPad block. Let's go ahead and test this thing out. All right, look at this. Okay, now we're just gonna go normal light right now. And I don't know if you can see this, but it comes with a nice little uh, controller as well, which is awesome. Uh, looks like you've got the ability to power on and also dim, which is cool, straight from it. All right, here we go. Hopefully I don't get blinded. Wow, I'm impressed. All right, so you can see the lights dimming and, and, and going up. Let's see, let's go all the way. I look like I'm about to tell you guys a creepy story. Once upon a time, there was a man who bored his viewers with horrible Let's go ahead and dim it down. Let's see how low we can go. This is really cool. Uh, all right, well, let's try one of those, one of those uh, color enhancers or whatever they're called. I'm not a professional. I don't know. Don't what me for. <laughs> All right. Well, they're not sticky. So that's just a protectant, I guess. If you're wondering how they go on, there's those little rails. If you could see those, which is kind of cool. Um, all right, cool. So it is on. Here we go. Three, two, one. Man, dude, that is nice. I like that. It's really, really cool. And what's nice about doing lighting like this is if I, see I'm, I'm, I'm sitting kind of at a weird angle with y'all right now anyway, but if I had the ability to mount this up right now and project it on the wall, I could give some really cool side lighting as well. For, so like, I don't know if you could see the difference. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Um, well, I think that just about sums it up. Honestly, y'all, I'm, I'm, I encourage y'all to buy one of these. I mean, this is really, really, really good. Please use my link, as I mentioned. It does help the channel a ton, and I cannot thank you enough ahead of time. Um, but this is really impressive. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today. Again, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Justin with Smack Reviews, and I am super impressed. I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.